Hi, it's Miss Jennifer with Somerset Academy of Music, and today I'm going to be taking you through how to play a C sharp major scale. And included in this, I'm going to teach you a really uh, cool trick that makes this fingering easier than you could have ever imagined. So first, I'll just take you through uh, the letters. With the C sharp scale, we want to remember that everything is sharp. So every single note is is sharp. The only trick to that being that you do have E sharp, which is a white key, and B sharp, a white key. Sometimes that can be a little tricky to remember, but. Okay, so first I'll take us through the letters. So it's gonna be C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, C sharp, B sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E sharp, D sharp, C sharp. So another cool thing um, that I just might mention while we're talking about it, is that a neat thing about the C scales and the keys that involve C are that uh, the key of C major, no sharps and flats, the key of C sharp, all sharps, so that's seven sharps, and the key of C flat would also be seven flats. So just remember always C is an all or nothing key, at least um, the major keys. Okay, so uh, let's see, now we'll go through the finger numbers. Two, three, you're gonna tuck your thumb under to E sharp. Two, three, A sharp, thumb goes under to the B sharp. Play two, one, cross your fourth finger over to A sharp, G sharp with your third finger. Two, one on E sharp, three. Now I'm gonna show you the little trick, the spider walk is what I call it uh, with my students. And you're simply gonna be using these two fingers to play uh, these two keys and these three fingers play this three group of black keys and then again these two fingers on this group and then your thumb is going to be responsible for the um, two white keys the E sharp and the B sharp so this is how you spider walk it so you're going to play these notes as a group put your thumb on E sharp put these three fingers down on the three group tuck your thumb under to the B sharp push these keys and then back down you do the same thing plant these keys and get them ready to play white key and two. And the reason why this is helpful, it's just an easy way for you to memorize, let your hand get that muscle memory of what the fingering feels like. So what you're going to do is um, just play the same fingering in the same notes you just did in the blocked version, but just play each note separately. And you can just prepare your hand by placing them where you played them. Obviously we're not going to go up to the D sharp uh, when we play it as a scale. The back and then plant these fingers sharp plant these fingers and if you can remember that little spider walk trick um, it just makes it super easy to remember which fingerings um, to be used sometimes when you're coming down like this and you get here you're not uh, sure what I should cross over should I cross four or three or two um, but if you've learned the spider walk then you know that these two fingers go here and the same thing at this spot when you come down you're not sure should I put this here should I put this here should I put this here but if you know from the spider walk trick it's these three, and then you won't ever run out of fingers or end up with a thumb or pinky on a black key, which really slows you down and is just basically incorrect. Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate the left hand. Again, you can use the spider walk. You're just going to use these two fingers to play this two group. Your thumb plays the white keys. These three fingers on the three group, thumb on the white keys, and again those two. Okay, I'll go through the letters first. Uh, C sharp, D sharp, E sharp, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B sharp, C sharp, B sharp, A sharp, G sharp, F sharp, E sharp, D sharp, C sharp. And then if you just spider walk to think about the fingerings, it's just going to be three, two, one. Prepare your hand. Four, three, two, one. And then here you can either cross your two or your three. If you're doing one octave, two is fine. If you are going to proceed on with another octave or two, then you will have to use your third finger. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. A little faster. Okay, here's the side view for the left hand. Three, two, one, four. Three, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, so I'm going to take you through uh, both hands now and again you can apply the spider walk uh, when you're doing both hands just as you did with one hand at a time so you're playing the two keys with two fingers your thumb plays the E sharp then you're gonna prepare these three fingers to play the three group then your thumb tucks under to play the B sharp 
and then back to the two group. Take it back down the same way. So then once you uh, feel comfortable with the spider walk, then you can just apply that fingering by just preparing your fingers as if you were going to play the notes blocked, like that. And then after your hand uh, gets used to, after then after both your hands get used to what that feels like, then you can speed it up and get rid of the pauses as your fingers get used to how that feels. Okay, here's the side view for both hands.